Hi, I want to talk to you about thinking your way through the vaping epidemic. Ever since, actually, it was kind of right around the time I released a video, a mini documentary about vaping, people started reporting pulmonary illnesses plaguing the country that had become an epidemic. There are 450 cases, five people dead, and they're all linked to vaping, right? So everyone's in a panic and everyone's wondering, should I stop vaping? You know, should, should I tell my friends to stop vaping? What's going on here? What the hell is happening? Is my watermelon candy, you know, killing me? Is my bubblegum pop gonna suddenly pop my lungs? No, but we'll get into why um, I say that. And to start, let's just start by understanding that when we say vaping related illnesses, that's much like saying drinking related illnesses. It doesn't specify anything to what is being drank, right? Just like there are all different types of beverages, there are all different types of vape juices and what is in them. Some are quality controlled, like Red Bull, and some are not, like maybe your friend's homemade beer or whatever. So with that understood, let's talk about first about the reactions. Um, the, the dumbest one and the one that people are citing and that is causing hysteria is the CDC who has said, just stop vaping altogether. Just don't vape at all until we figure out what the what is going on. You know, it's very um, sort of a Trump response. Total and complete shutdown. Until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on? The problem with that is that we sort of do know what's going on, but maybe just the CDC doesn't know what's going on. So let me explain. Within any uncertain event, there are always likelihoods associated to those uncertainties. Let me give you an example. So let's say my remote, I can't find my remote control for my TV. There are a lot of explanations. Not all of them are equally true. It would be really dumb to call the police and say, hey, I think someone has moved my remote. That could be true, but it's probably true that I or my wife moved it and didn't realize it. Uh, and so we need to think in the same way about the vaping epidemic. Vaping has been done for years with no acute pulmonary problems. So is it likely that it is the established vape juice brands um, that have been around forever that you could maybe equate to like Red Bull. They've been doing it a while. Nobody's caught, nobody's died. Um, or is it the black market THC uh, juice that has been going around being passed to the kiddos? You know, it's probably that. Pr probably the black market, um, no quality control product that is being, that is causing all the issues. So that's pretty much it. That's kind of the explanation. I know that's kind of boring. Um, I know that's not too exciting to hear that it's that it's not your watermelon candy uh, vape juice that's been sold in your vape shop. It's probably the cannabis oil that is uh, you know sold behind the back of the Exxon. I'm sorry to tell you that, but it, it just what gets me is that there's such a I don't knowism within public health that borderlines on the irresponsible. Because in the same way that it's super irresponsible to say that you know what the cause of something is when you don't, it's equally irresponsible to say, we just don't know anything when you do know something. We do know that most of the cases have been linked to THC. We also know that people, that especially the black market THC industry is filled with varieties of you know quality control, safe food safety, you know, all these things, whereas we know that they're very high in some of these other industries. There's a lot of respected vape brands um, that are actually known for their quality. So to say that those are equal is irresponsible both to the consumer who now has to decide, well, do I give up everything or do I just not take any educated action? And it's also irresponsible to the vaping industry who are doing their best to regulate a product and create a sense of trust and by doing this like, oh, we don't know, you're freaking everyone out needlessly. Should we still be open to the evidence? Yes, of course we should still be open to the evidence. But should we also tell people what is the most likely thing? Yes. So CDC, who is telling everyone to stop vaping altogether, they take an L. FDA, who is telling people the right thing, which is that, hey, you should probably avoid THC. Vape oils, while this is going on, they're doing the right thing. Um, that's it, just a little, please be sane, think about these hysterias when they happen. Um, that's all I wanted to say.